here by once again we have assembled on digital platform of learning and here we are under the pandemic covid-19 outbreak stand still or lockdowns have been announced as life with a pause and this time we have to analyze our surroundings so here by we have unity in diversity as although we are standing together as a nation for, against one pandemic irrespective of gender caste creed color age and religion we welcome you all in understanding the chapter named as india's most blessed feature understanding diversity vivitta bharat ki moolbhut buniyad it marks the strong foundation the immense pleasure of having various colors of religion age gender culture ethnic and behavior values geographically india marks the presence of state and union territory so we will going to analyze it in the aspect of diversity here by firstly we will discuss ladakh a union territory of this country which has the surroundings of mountains with a cold temperature as its surrounding areas islam and buddhism marks its presence as religious culture it is located in northern part of india tukpa momos are the common food habits found here but it have been not very much prominent in the aspect of trade as it is should be a center of attraction on august 5th the central government announced that a union territory of ladakh is to be created by carving out the region from the state of jammu and kashmir this new union territory is set to come into existence on october 31st the ladakh region is ecologically and culturally unique it has a topography that is very different from the rest of india and is home to enormous mineral reserves the extremely fragile and cold desert ecosystem of the regions has meant that its inhabitants have a very adaptive lifestyle the population of around 3 lakh is spread sparsely over an area of about 60000 square kilometers the people are primarily buddhists and their culture is closely tied to the tibetan region and like the tibetans the ladakhi cuisine is known for momos and thukpa the primary language of the region is bhoti and ladakhi culture has a rich oral tradition of songs and poems the region was settled by tribes and races like the mons and the dards and historical mentions of the region go back as early as the 3rd century bc and the puranas in the 1830s the dogra army of jammu laid siege on ladakh and brought it under maharaja Gulab Singh's rule Ladakh became a part of India when Jammu and Kashmir acceded to the union in 1947 During the 1962 war China took control of a part of the region that is known as Aksai Chin Since then India and China have signed agreements to respect the line of actual control that separates Aksai Chin from Jammu and Kashmir In 2002 all the political parties in Ladakh had merged to form the Ladakh Union Territory Front in demand of union territory status because of its religious and cultural differences with Jammu and Kashmir Ladakh's member of parliament Jamyang Sereng Namgyal of the BJP said that Ladakh felt stifled by Jammu and Kashmir's decision making apparatus which was centered in Srinagar Ladakh celebrated Independence Day 2019 with fervor with Mr Namgyal saying the region has got independence from Kashmir After having the video presentation we already know that how enhanced Ladakh culture was so it lags behind in the trading attraction but the kerala have a state identity and it is surrounded by sea on one side it has the religious 
diversity. Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism marks their presence and it is located in southern part of India. India marks the geographical boundaries of northern to southern India, have the immense new food habits, language, surroundings, culture, caste, creed, religion and but although they are together and one. For more information on holiday packages contact www.swanter.com In all conclusion, it's just to say, whether it's a state or whether it's a union territory, whether it marks its culture geographically or historically, both have their own identity and Indian history and geography is blessed with diversity and connected politically, emotionally socially and stood against one pandemic and hereby we have been joined our hands in the welfare of the country we are standing together with government diversity is india's strength so with this note we are concluding it today by saying thank you for visiting unity in diversity <laughs>